Hello, um, this is my first video and I'm going to call myself Styly Star and the idea is that anyone from 17 to 70 can channel a famous celebrity or a film star or a character when they get dressed in the morning and um, today because it's quite sunny and quite frosty and wintry I'm going to zhuzh myself up all zhivago and um, let's go Lara. So first of all I'm going to show you that I've already put some makeup on and it's alright I'm not going to go out in the dressing gown. I have put on some very pale foundation including all over my lips and a bit of pink blusher. I am not an expert on makeup you can watch all sorts of videos that will show you that much better than me but I have chosen to ignore advice about putting on liquid eyeliner on the over 50s um, so I've put a little bit on the top there and I've sort of blended it out a bit and tried to make it more natural with brownish or greyish colours and underneath a tiny bit as well um, just to give a slight 60s -y look and emphasise the eyes but most importantly and perhaps this is a top makeup tip is I have, as I'm getting older now, I have thinner eyebrows that don't really show up very much. So these are just brilliant. Uh, little sets of um, eyebrow makeup sets. And it's got a chisel tipped brush, which works a bit like an italic pen that you put in the powder and you can just kind of draw across with the wide part and then turn it down into the narrow part and that gives you a nice controlled line and brings back the eyebrows which in an awful lot of film stars is fundamental these aren't anywhere near dark enough but I'd look ridiculous I'd, I would look like a drag artist if I put them on darker hair right now I'm not blonde I don't have Julie Christie's cheekbones or her lips it doesn't matter I've got blue eyes, reasonable skin, and I'm not going to spend ages doing a big old beehive. But I'm going to give myself a side parting, polish the hair a bit with a bit of brushing. And then I'm just going to pull it back up and clip it up with a claw clip. <laughs> you don't even want to see what's going on behind. <laughs> and um, pull that down. It's a bit of a comb over, isn't it, that? Might just bring down, yeah, yeah, you can see, you can see at the back that that's falling down. Bring down some sort of 60s e wisps. Now, clothing. I am going to put on, ah, uh, I really shouldn't have done the hair before I did this. I'm going to put on a massive jumper, which is a bit of a key look for, for Julie Christie as Lara. And it's going to be like this. You see that? That's just a brilliant look, isn't it? You can I can hear Omar Sharif coming now in his troika. Right, um, play, do, adjust, muck about with hair and so on. Oh, I better show you the whole outfit. I wasn't really wearing just my dressing gown. There we go, look at this. Because I like danger, I'm going up on a swivel chair just to show you that I've got this skirt, a long dark skirt. This is a, a sort of grey wrap over Scandinavian y kind of skirt. But more importantly, I've got some snowy boots on. Now, this really is a swivel chair. <laughs> I can't show you. <laughs> yes, I can. There they are, look. And all Eskimo and everything like that. Quite nice. Um, so that's that. But you need furs. Now it's very important if you're doing Lara to not wear any bright colours at all. Okay, it's all neutrals and um, blacks, whites, browns and creams and beiges and so on. This is quite nice. This is um, a length of, well, it, it's a nylon wolf actually. And uh, oh, and there's look. Do you oh look at that? Do you see there? There, there's another wolf fox thing. Right. That's quite nice, but there's not much point in wearing the jumper underneath, is there? However, good top tip: if you're wearing any fur, fake fur, fun fur at all, always give it a brush 
um, because it just fluffies it up a little bit and stops it looking quite so faux. All right, so that makes it look a little bit fluffy. And I do quite like that. So I might leave that for now. This is what you've been waiting for. Now, if you're in Lara, you've seriously got to wear a furry hat. And there it is. I don't think those look very good together. I think I look like um, a sort of Mayfair Russian oligarch's wife. And a little bit overdone and not very natural. So two things here, I think. I'm going to take that away. I think that on its own looks a lot better. And I think there's two fundamental things here. I think if I take off the hat and did the hair a bit better again. The hair and the jumper work quite nicely like so. Like that. That's very, ooh, ooh. That's very much her. But I think, I think if I really need Dr. Zhivago to come a running or wait for me for 20 years in the Dutcher, I think I need to have my hair down. Maybe on the side again. And hat on like so. Now that, that is a little bit more Winter Palace. 